Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Grand Finals. This is Leviticus, and I'm joined by my co-commentator, as always, Betty B. Betty B, how the heck are you? Oh, fantastic. I had a wonderful run at it, but these two deserve to be here in this final match, and I cannot wait for maybe a new crown of no Wenzel in this championship. I genuinely hope so. Not to count against Snipe, because I, I'm, I'm never going to root against Canada, but uh, it would be really hype to see uh to see somebody take one of these from him uh finally he's had enough he's had enough trophies i think it's time i think it's time and you know yeah. and she has the advantage she's on the winner's side so uh you know if she's she's never been in a better position so i really i'm really hoping for it tonight uh, I'm yeah absolutely <laughs> And Snipe actually fought his way back uh, in the loser bracket um, by a forfeit of time. So definitely, um, he doesn't go in there often. So <laughs> of course, it would have to be a forfeit to get him in there. All right. So it looks like both of them are off. Um, I'm interested to see if uh, Snipe is going to to uh, employ the uh, the roof stress that we saw him do against Hibimato. We saw them both doing them against each other. That match was incredible. Uh, probably the best use of that strategy that we've ever seen. Absolutely, and it, it's kind of interesting because I don't think Snipe went... I mean, obviously, Hebe was showing that first, um, so Snipe kind of he was fighting back with, with the Umbrella, so is the Umbrella the only thing that can fight an Umbrella? <laughs> Maybe. Uh, I, I know that he definitely seems like he adapted in that set, um, but I, I don't see him using it here. It doesn't look like this is a, a, an Umbrella. It looks like... Uh, it's just good old-fashioned garbage. Is he starting to get really clumped up here in the center? Is Nozzle's already off to a great start? Mm -hmm. She's been playing a clean game, and I I know that because I played against it, and it, it it's just it's hard to fight against uh, just clean, simple combos that just keep coming, and that's what she does. Oh yeah, but now she's looking to be in trouble. <laughs> she's at the top of her board. Yeah. Let's see how she attacks us, because I know she tries to, uh, she's one that tries to tear down, um, any sides that, that are going too high, and look at her, right here, um, proving my words, thank you, no one's, no one's old. <laughs> yeah, and, but Spike does definitely have the cleaner board, and a little drop clear there, sending some trash out to no one's old. Oh no, he's gonna get the double garbage drop in the yeah, fourth column, and that's gonna be a top out! Oh. Wow. Then they're gonna go straight onto the next one, wasting no time. The pace of their play is incredible, especially on No Whistle's side. I, I feel like she knows that she needs to keep pace with Snipe, and she's really pushing herself to play as fast as she possibly can. players maneuver at the top of their board it, it's not something that everybody can do is but but they do it so well it's something i need to learn and and all of us can take a, a note from these two i feel like snipe is on another plane of existence after that oh. match against cp because he's just playing just at an incredible speed and it's difficult for nose to keep up she's hanging in there though yeah, he d he did say that you know he was still feeling it after after that match that you know his he was hands like, Am were I shaking. Still here? Yeah. <laughs> but no one's will definitely uh, does put the pedal to the metal here, you know, slapping down those pills, getting these combos as quick as she can. Oh Another man, one says, yep. Like, Snipe was holding out and getting really greedy on that, but he finally, I think when he heard the combo coming, he decided to finally take it down and he's gonna clear a center out. But uh, he is still uh, effectively behind here. He's behind in virus count and honestly, I would say in board health as well. And I, I wonder how Snipe's gonna take down a little bit of this trash that he has. A little bit of hesitation on, on trying to figure out what he's going to do. He ends up just taking the clear in the middle, which I think is a good plan. Keeping that middle area clean of any trash is good when playing somebody like No Wenzel, who can just stack it on. Oh yeah. He, uh, he's not afraid to make these big setups at the top of the board. It really helps his comeback potential. Um, it's not easy, though. It's definitely a, a, a learned skill. And I, I really think that 
you know, Snipe is keeping the level board, which does help out a lot. Um, and Noenzela is getting a little bit spied over in her column 7 and 8. Um, but I say that and she's probably going to attack it right now. Yeah, and, and it's keeping Snipe at bay. He's at the top of his board still, even at this stage of the game. What I really want to see is, uh, is clearing that, uh, the middle of that area in columns 5, 6, and 7 for Noenzel just so it drops, drops this wonderful red clear. I love drop clears, so whenever I see them, I'm like, <laughs> I hope they go for it, but I kind of get tunnel vision that way, um, but Noenzel definitely is looking for combos all the way. What? You like drop combos? No way. You're kidding. No, no <laughs> I, I kind of like them. <laughs> Oh man, and I look away from Snipe for one second, and he has such a clean board, and Noenzel is now close to the top, and just trying to put some things together here. Yeah, all of a sudden it looks like she's in a, a tough top of the board position here, whereas Snipe has really cleaned things up, and he's gonna make another, I believe this is a quad now, coming down on Noizel. But it does go in the right spot to give her a little bit, like a combo clear of her own, so... Mm -hmm. She's found, she makes an amazing find there in the middle of that stack and it helps even things out for her here. I'm gonna block her, her blue L opportunity that she had there. I think she, maybe she's just finding something else instead, it looks like. Doesn't look like look it's gonna phase her at all. Look at that though, a, a drop clear and then followed by another one. So she did definitely find something else that that worked for for her play. That oh yeah, great. there's more than one way to attack a stack, that's for sure. <laughs> What's gonna become a thing? Attack the stack. <laughs> And now she's she's brought it back to where she is in the lead. I don't know if Snipe ever kind of took the lead, um, but he did have the cleaner board state. And now this has flopped again to where I like No One's uh, position right now. I think especially when you watch these uh, amazing players play and they have the potential to go on these huge runs of combos. And you've probably seen it in your games, to be honest, Betty. I, uh, you'll probably be at the top of the board and then all it takes is just getting a run of combos to flip the, the position and just get yourself back in the lead and then your opponent will do the same back to you because they now are at the top of the board. Uh, I've noticed this a lot in, in, uh, in these high level games. Um, it's really exciting to see that but uh, I'm sure it's less, uh, it's definitely frustrating if you're the one that has to play them. Uh, absolutely, and I, I think, I, and this is may just be my opinion, but I feel like the catalyst is always like a nice horizontal or a nice T, you know? Like, <laughs> it always feels like, oh, that's when I come back, when I make a really good play, and I'm like, yeah, I'm go Betty, you know? Like, <laughs> and these players probably feel the same way. <laughs> oh, I like this. I like no one's little waiting to... to drop these blues until uh, they can maybe clear and get this horizontal yellow set up. Oh, not, decides not to take it. I eat my words. Mm -hmm. She is effectively at her endgame now, looking a little rough on the left side, but uh, mm -hmm. definitely has blues and yellows stacked up. Uh, she has horizontal opportunities and I'm sure she's going to be looking to take here. Um, so she's definitely in a much better position than Snipe, who still has these crowded columns 2 and 3 and is effectively still at the top of his board. All right, Lev, a little bit of a plug, but can we request that this game be uh, one of them that you commentate? Because I see some things that I would like your perspective on, so... Oh, you'd like I, a, a VOD review of this one, eh? Yeah, okay, absolutely, okay. absolutely, absolutely. I have a couple... A little bit of a plug for you. Man, I've seen probably like three different games tonight where I'm like, man, I gotta review that. But, uh, <laughs> but we'll see, we'll see. We only can do one a week, but uh, I'll, put, I'll write this one down. I'll write this one down. Okay. But yeah, a lot, just to go back to um, kind of a preview of all the, the games that we've had, we've had a lot of really close match matchups with, and people have mentioned in chat, you know, no names, but they're not no names. They've been playing and putting in the work uh, in Fightcade, um, you know, Pangola, and, and a lot of players just 
doing really good work here, and I'm I'm loving seeing the increase in, in competition. Oh, absolutely, yeah. I mean, I think it's fair to say that a lot of the, the big names here are a bit unknown if you're not familiar with the monthly checkup. Uh, even if, you know, a lot of these players that we see in our top spots month after month, you know, not everybody can travel to regionals or to Columbus to uh, to to make a name for themselves or to take any titles. So uh, I love to see that you know these people that uh, you've never heard of can come out here and they can they can make a huge impact. Yes, absolutely. Oh, and I think Snipe. Snipe is making a comeback here. I, I don't know if he is doing an umbrella strat. That that's not a full umbrella over there on uh, column one, two, and three, but. Um, it is helping navigate this board a little bit for him, it looks like. Now, all of a sudden, uh, now, uh, Snipe is also at his endgame, and Nozel's two last two viruses on the left, like I said, very, uh, boxed in there. That being said, she has a lot of opportunities to make big combos here, and maybe she'll get to, uh, flip things around. Oh, I think that was a misdrop, no. though. That's gonna make things a little more difficult as far as clearing out column two is concerned. She may just need to start, uh comboing a little faster here. It's been a while since I've seen like a, a top out win in the end game, so maybe we'll get that here. That might be her best shot at this point. Now that she's but done. But how that. would how do you think Snipe will attack his? Like obviously he's gonna probably want to do that blue in the middle of the yellows, but is he going to do that before or after he attacks that blue so it's not covered? It's that's it's, always yeah, that's always it's a tricky. hard decision. <laughs> I feel like he might just try to de-sandwich the yellows out from between the blues so that he can clear them together because it'll just end up being the safest and like cleanest way to clear it all out. Uh, and it looks like he's very well set up to do that. A double blue would be amazing oh, for his wow. endgame here. He's just gonna take it this way though. I think he's gonna... Oh, I don't know. This is... He does have protection from col in column 3. No garbage is gonna fall there to block him off, but... Um, wow. It's, this, it's not as close as it looks. Yeah, but because I now I don't know how he's going to get yeah. to these blues once he gets these reds cleared away. Oh no, he has a space. Right. He has a very small space. Oh he's going to have to flip gosh. it in. Oh! oh, wow, that was so close. That could have gone one wrong move. And I think he would have lost if he had messed that up. Oh, and right into and it. And they're right back into the next game. These two are used to sparring uh, quite often. So, like... They know each other's play style, they've studied each other's play style, and they're just not going to have any of it if they lose. Oh, and not only that, but I know that both of these players uh, hate to lose, and more than that, they hate to lose to each other, so... <laughs> <laughs> they're both hungry to win this, more for just, uh, you know, a, a tournament victory. They, they want it for the bragging rights over each other, if anything. Mm -hmm. Oh man, like, I, I'm not seeing the setups they're going for, but, I like, after they, they trigger it, I'm like, oh, that's great. That was yeah. a fantastic play, oh, so... Yeah. <laughs> and, and looking at this here... Both players are looking pretty even on their boards, actually. Uh, Wizzle has a setup on her eighth column I'd really like her to take, but uh, other than that, uh, I mean, I think she's got a much better board there. Luckily, the garbage will clear the yellows off instead of blocking off her column, um, but uh, yeah, I, she is behind in virus count, and uh, she starts, you know, she, her stack might be a little weak if, uh, if some inopportune garbage were to fall, but uh, roughly speaking, I think she is... Uh, Pretty firmly ahead here, despite what the virus count might show. Mm -hmm. and, and sometimes just not triggering a combo because maybe some some trash that is falling will do it for you. That's also a, a valid strategy of you know keeping your your top level able to be cleared by a, a, a trash. You know, and and that's just that's what No Enzel is showing. Is like, okay, I don't have to take this easy combo. He's not sending me anything right now. I'm good. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, it's always tough to make that judgment call, but I promise you they're both uh, thinking about that basically basically the entire match. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that blue is not advantageous for uh, for no one's all, but... And it's actually no whistle. I keep saying no one's all because it's in the name. So I apologize to everybody. It is no whistle. <laughs> That's what he goes by. <laughs> mm. 
Her stack is starting to even out now, um, but she and her virus count is even catching up too. Um, unfortunately, Snipes' viruses are mostly split uh, on the sides of the board, and the columns uh, 1 and 8 are just totally filled here. So, you know, not an uh, insurmountable endgame, but uh, definitely not what you'd like to see. Snipe getting a little bit high on their board, but this piece of trash is really helpful uh, to clear that um, yellow horizontally and, and you know, just setting up for these combos. So he decide. Oh, wow, I didn't even see that! I thought he was going to take the, uh, the lightning bolt, but instead he took a drop clear that went into an L, and that was beautiful. I, I can't get it. Oh my god. All right. Anyway. <laughs> Wow, and, and Marissa actually just brought down her board, and I was I looked away for a second in awe of again that move, but she brought this down and now has a really flat, really clean board. And then look at this lab, look at this T setup. Wow, fantastic. Yeah, she's just killing it in this one. She's gonna get another fat log combo here, and Snipe is just letting the garbage pile up at the top of his board. He's trying to make something happen, but I don't know if, he's, if it's gonna be enough. He's gonna, it's gonna take a lot for him to flip this back around. He's gonna get a nice tea, though, uh, that came from some opportune garbage, but uh, his pill speed's quickly picking up, and it's looking dangerous, whereas Whistle's uh, swiftly approaching endgame. I'm just like watching this. I I know <laughs> I see all the setups she has, and I'm like, which way are you going to do it? This <laughs> is fantastic. I'm watching at this this high caliber of play that we have. Yeah, this is looking so dangerous here. I mean, I've seen Snipe get into some crazy things, but I have no idea how he's going to do this. I think Nozel might just be too far ahead. I think she's about to pick up her first crown in this grand final. Knock on wood. I'm not trying to. You know, don't want to chase yeah. it. <laughs> I'm still just. I'm in awe. Like I, I keep watching her, and I know Snipe is also playing this game. Mm. <laughs> These combos are incredible. She's not letting up, even though she's so far ahead. She's not letting off the gas because she knows she can't give Snipe even an inch. But she's almost delaying the game because I've seen multiple, uh, you know, times where she still had a combo, but she just, she doesn't know how to turn it off. <laughs> but she doesn't need to look at the setting up for these uh, yellows um, at the bottom, maybe going for a horizontal, still has the, the vertical um, set up in case she needs to take that as well. It's just threes everywhere over there. Mm -hmm. I think it's just a matter of walking in at this point. As long as she, you know, plays a strong endgame, I don't... This is her game to lose here. Oh, wow. <laughs> that T set up just to make sure she got the virus clear at the bottom of her board. That's the kind of efficiency mm -hmm. that you want to see. Yeah, and she's clearing... I thought maybe was going to clear for taking the blue horizontally, because right now that's the only thing that's... that's wow. Her. See, she's delaying. This is great. She wants the top out. She wants the top out. She she won't she, settle no, for just... She, I think she doesn't want to tempt fate. She's taking it. She, that's going to be the first crown for her. <laughs> and they're right back into it. Wow, nice horizontal setup but the, in the opening for Noizel, I really like that. But no one getting a clear advantage right away either, it looks like. Although this double blue is going to be huge for Noizel, holy. Beautiful. I would really like to take this blue horizontal, but it's going to get blocked on both sides, and again! What is wow. he gonna do? Yeah, this is really rough. I think he just he needs to unblock that horizontal and take it. It's just gumming up his entire top half of his board right now. But the garbage won't stop. Oh no, this is a dangerous column five for Noisel, though now she's at risk of topping out. And she's trying her best to responsibly take that down by any means. Oh, but a miss wow. a miss flip by Snipe though, and that definitely is not how he wanted that to go. He wanted the yellow on top of the yellow in column three, but 
I guess doesn't matter. Maybe at the very least, he appears to be safe from topping out for the time being. But uh, mm -hmm. wow, both players almost at risk of uh, ending the game on the spot. But uh, they're now both relatively safe, and they're looking to start making some progress with a, an even virus count here, 41 to 43 for Nozzle. It was kind of interesting as I was watching the uh, games prior to this one of seeing how when their back is up against the wall what decisions they make and what what they see in order to set up the combos that they know they need to make. And, um, you know, especially the, the battle with uh, Snipe and, and Hebe, I was just, I was trying to analyze that and see what they make, because that's where we all fall for, is like making those quick split second um, decisions and, and they just, they have this arsenal of uh, moves that they need to, they know they need to make. And, um, yeah, so this is, this is my bread and butter, is watching this, uh, <laughs> game. I love it. Yeah, I know that there's so many games I, we could, I could go back and analyze from this one so far, but, uh, yeah, wow. Both players are still kind of at the top. Nozel finally making a little headway on her board here. She's starting to bring things down. Colomate's still a little, uh, topped up, but, uh, nothing compared to... The, uh, the columns one to three that Snipe has here. I like the decision Snipe made of keeping that uh, column uh, one, two, three intact uh, and not dropping that down because now he's making, you know, essentially a um, umbrella. But it, it is a uh, maybe a faulty one because it could be cleared oh, by some. No, this <laughs> trash from no one's. Top of the sport for Noah's is not looking good all of a sudden. Placed at the top of column four to expose those blues, and I think she needed to do that just to clear up the center. Would you have left that yellow piece of trash to, to fall? I probably would have flipped that up so it would uh, have disappeared off of her board. Yeah, that, that's possible, although it is uh, well known that uh, Nuizel is a, a one-button flipper somehow at this level. So it's possible so that's just not the button she flips with that to allow her to do that. Yep. That might be the Very only true. reason. game has been going on for quite some time for both players to be this high up at the top of the board. Neither one of them is uh, giving the other any quarter here. Yeah, they have not broken into <laughs> the the last, even the mid game, really. Um, so just when they're about to, the other one uh, will send tons of garbage over and send them right back to the Stone Age. <laughs> I like that. But I do like. Uh, you know, the amount of setups that I see on Snipe's board, um, you know, both horizontal and uh, vertical. And I think Snipe really does have a strength with that of the amount of setups that he's able to maintain and um, and just work with. Mm, absolutely. I, uh, man, this, this is the, the setups that they're having to deal to to constantly come up with as all this garbage is falling is inc incredible right now. Uh, beautiful. Uh, it's a nice horizontal combo. But once again, she's now finding herself uh, near the near the top of the board again. Not quite at top out danger levels or anything, but mm -hmm. um, yeah, it seems like both players constantly just treading water. Someone trying to pull ahead here. And neither one of them can manage it. And I was just about to mention that like a lot of uh, Noizel's um, columns were all covered in red, but then a well-timed red rush, which we sometimes despise, but in that case really did help clear up her board, and she's continuing to put on the pressure and send some stuff over to Snipe. Absolutely. I mean, we'll still complain about it the next time it happens to us, but... Uh, Wait. But of yeah. Course. Oh... Again, not playing this game, oh, wow. but I'm just this like analyzing amazing, these moves. Amazing find from Noizel in that combo there. Uh, I didn't see what she was doing until the last second on that. And she's now starting finally, I think, maybe to be possibly getting a lead. Uh, maybe she's, possibly. <laughs> it's always hard to say, especially when uh, you know a string of combos could come out of snipe at any moment here. This is this has definitely been the most intense crown so far. 
she's wanting it. She want it, wants to bring this to, you know, the decider of this match, but then she's just wanting to take it home. She, She's somebody who has mentioned, like, oh, I just, like, it goes on too late. I just want to go to bed, you know, but she she wants to win <laughs> first. So uh, yeah, she doesn't oh, yeah. deserve that sleep. Mm -hmm. This yellow garbage for Nawizzle might give her the tea set up, and she will find it. And she's going to follow it up with another double. She's looking like she's going to bring this to a decider here if uh, if things continue to go her way. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> this setup's from Nawizzle. She's playing out of her mind. And she has this underclear um, in column 8 that, you know, is very close to also clearing that red underneath with just one piece of yellow uh, garbage in between. So I'm... I'm thinking she has this, unless Snipe can really turn on the gas, which we know he can. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was just gonna say, never never count uh, anyone out, really, especially yeah. at this level of play. Because here comes a triple that's gonna block this blue horizontal wow. setup that she has going, and he, she is still stun locked. And Snipe is quickly closing the gap in virus count. And the ability. Wow. Oh, I like that drop clear by no. No, it's all. <laughs> in order to get on but i don't oh yes no this is perfect this is exactly what she wants this is exactly what she wants all she needs now is to clear um oh mm -hmm. i don't think she wanted that i i don't i, think I can't tell i think maybe she did she might just be going horizontally here maybe no she doesn't take okay. that but uh she better take something soon because snipe is quickly catching up although he uh has sort of a tenuous situation going on near the top of the board, but uh, mm -hmm. it's mostly just shielding him from garbage here, and uh, he's now only four viruses away. And that's two, and he's very close to taking it here. Oh, wow. Excellent endgame from Snipe. That's gonna be the set to Snipe. Uh, that's gonna be the bracket reset. That was so close! Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Oh, they closed the game. Uh, that's unfortunate. Give us uh, one moment here, and we will get that back. Okay, perfect. Sorry. And they, this is they figured the it second out. month in a row where Snipe has reset the bracket. Mm -hmm. Although, actually, I believe uh, Hibimato reset it against him last month. He was on the winner's side. Oh, is that what it is? And then he okay. came back to win after being down 2-0, which was incredible. Definitely check that out on the YouTube, by the way, everybody. Quick YouTube plug before we start. Uh... <laughs> Please like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. You know what to do. Anyway, uh, these guys are ready to go. They don't want to wait any longer. Let's get it on. There we go. But uh, no one was, or no Izzo was definitely picking up uh, steam in that, in those last two crowns. So maybe she has the endurance Ooh. here. And. Uh, Let's see. This amazing quad uh, that she really built up for. I was very scared for a minute on that one, but she uh, she managed to take it down. Oh, she's gonna have her cross blocked off at the last second when she got the perfect double red. And on my side, uh, just everywhere is combo possibility. Look at this. Oh, uh, this, I... oh this I'm so sorry. Uh, just to speak, uh, I didn't realize, but when they restarted the game, they actually switched sides. So, uh, the names are currently oh. I'll fix that for you right now, everybody. Uh, that's, uh, that's mm, not, well, yeah. Sorry about that. <laughs> Let's do this. There we go. So we don't need to do that. Okay, we're all set. Apologies, everybody. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, it's actually No Whistle that's, uh, that's really shooting off to Alita here in the first game, as it turns out. Okay, that that makes I mean great. <laughs> <laughs> and it, and it doesn't it looks like he's run out of room and Nozel's actually gonna take the first crown of the set. Wow. She's off to a lead and she's ready. She's ready to finally claim a victory here if she can just get two more games. Oh, I like that little short stack um, from Nozel and another one and another. Oh man. This is gonna. Oh wow, she's just going for. 
Well, I, I love her play right now. Oh my goodness. It's blue and it says dying to before Zontal in column six for Nizzle is just She's just not getting any blue to, to complete the setup here. She is just gonna clear it off from the top. Uh, and uh, yeah, this lack of blue is really hampering her right now. It's giving Snipe from, some room to come back. I really think clearing it is what she needed to just play something else. Like, quit trying to un unravel this blue that will never go away. Um, and that's what she's doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I mean, unfortunately, she's just... If you don't get any blue pieces at all, it's very difficult to just make it go away unless you underclear or something like that. She was just so set up to take the horizontal and then blue not coming really punished her, unfortunately. Tonight, making a good decision to lay a piece flat in order to make a combo clear instead of just setting it up. So, um, again, just high level thought processing going on. Uh, with these two. Mm -hmm. And Snipe, uh, Noizel with uh, an amazing pill to leave off the top to stay alive in column 5. Uh, this has been very dangerous. She is now, uh, evening things out, uh, finally has some room to maneuver, maybe get some combos of her own, and start to try to pull back. Virus count relatively even, but Snipe, I would say, is certainly here. Oh, look at this. Oh, oh. no, I don't think that that yellow red at the top right of Nozel's board meant to go there. But uh, she is going to have to do her best to recover now. And, uh, I th yeah, not looking good. And that's definitely another thing that we all study is like, okay, when you, when you make that misplay, how do you recover um, to bring this back to some some form of a game? <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, misplay, misplay is only as bad as uh, how... How difficult it is how to recover from it. it and how you deal with it, exactly. Another, another uh, misplay over in that column. I think she wanted to flip that red-yellow the opposite direction, so... Um, those split-second decisions that you have to make at the top end of your board makes this so hard to, to handle. Mm, it's possible she may, with a win under her belt and taking a lead here, start, maybe starting to feel the pressure here a little bit in these tournament finals. But Snipe running away with this, like, a clean, clean-ish board and, um, a lot of setups already. Decides to take that one with a drop clear, oh. set up more. Wow. Nozel finding a, a great quad is somewhere in this stack of nonsense, but she's finally clearing out of the center. Uh, and this, uh, little, uh, mist drop in the top right might also almost serve as, like, a bit of a half umbrella here on the right that maybe will help uh, keep some garbage off of her for a uh, little later in the game here. Oh, I li I'm liking some decisions that Snipe is making. Again, just seeing um, that the end board in mind, um, instead of just taking those instant, instant combos, he's setting up for um, clearing everything. And... That blue is not where he wanted that to be, but again, that might set up a combo if he can- Oh! He'll get a T into this, it. There's another T- Well, almost T. Almost. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I wish, I wish it was. But I think he'll be happy with uh, just a triple, I think. <laughs> yeah, don't be greedy, right? But that's kind of like my middle name, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But the speed is definitely picking up. You can see uh, Noizel actually um, having maybe some trouble trying to get the pill over um, to the column one, but she's way past it now, so. Yep, she's doing her best to hang on. Oh, I feel like she won the oh, combo there. Yep. But she's uh, she's now cleared at the center, but uh, I mean, Snipe is almost completely uncontested in his endgame here. Looking very clean, maybe a little bit of hiccup here now in column one, but otherwise looking very good. Yeah, and he has the uh, luxury of actually just clearing some of the stuff without a combo because he is that far in advance or ahead right now. Now Noizel coming back with a bit of a stun lock. Uh, being near the top of the board sort of gives her the ability to make these combos faster. Uh, and she has, and Snipe being in his endgame is giving her a lot of drop time every time she does. And 
and he's, uh, Snipe is still holding on to that setup and finally gets to take it in column 7. I, I feel like he was delaying that for quite a bit, but wasn't getting the pills he needed either, so. Yep, I think he knows that even with four viruses remaining, he's not necessarily at the finish line yet. Definitely a healthy attitude to have. Mm-hmm. Yeah, always, always be comboing even if you only need that one blue because I, I can count on, I can't count on two hands the amount of times that that lost me a game of thinking, all I need is a blue, all I need is a blue, and getting nothing but red and yellows. <laughs> Just when you think it's safe. Right. <laughs> That's when the doctor will get you. He yeah, your nightmares. exactly. <laughs> wow, interesting play with the. Uh... Sort of building up some kind of uh, combo set up in uh, the column one here. He's oh. not able to get it over in time, but Snipe will just take that instead, and that'll work just fine, I think. Uh, I think he's just wanting to. Uh, I mean, he has a lot, of, you know, a lot of colored groups just sort of vertically stacked in column one. He could easily just clear this all vertically if he gets the right pieces, as long as he doesn't get any more garbage falling. It looks like he is looking to do that, and he's going to try to get these last two yellows uh, vertically oh, wow. here. Beautiful. And he needs one more, and that's gonna do it. Oh, yeah, well, hold on. Combo anyway. <laughs> sure, why not? Gosh. He's gonna Lag. tie it up one to one in our second set. And one thing I've noticed is that the, the right out the gate, they they seem to play different setups. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's really interesting. Um, a lot of the times when I've played other players, we seem to see similar stuff, but yeah, they definitely go for completely different things on different sides of the board. Always interesting when you see two, uh, the players go for two different openings just to see who mm -hmm. ends up uh, getting the advantage. Oh, I like this. I like no one's little setup um, of. Uh, is she going to get the pill she needs? <laughs> oh wow! What an unfortunate piece of double garbage here on that yellow. And it's just not stopping. Oh, but she'll, she'll slide that in just in time to stay alive. And keeping cool under pressure is definitely the name of the game. <laughs> and and she does it like I. I, I can't imagine. Here. I can't imagine how she does it. Now she's clearing at her center to try and stay safe. And oh, honestly, I like this. she's not as far behind as it looks, I don't think, although this combo from Snipe might change things a little bit. Oh, But she can just... Yep, that's exactly what I thought she would do to chop that down. And the yellow is exactly where she needs it in order to bring it down just a little bit further, but... It is very trash heavy and and not a lot of um, things that she can take to make combos. Mm -hmm. And on Snipe's side of the board, he's just starting to really pick up steam. He's got a lot of setup opportunities and a very clear board. His board height is significantly lower than the Wizzles, and uh, he's looking poised here to keep uh, to keep his winning streak alive. Yeah, but that column one over on Snipe's side is continuing to get rained with trash from Noizel. Ooh, I like I like the setup that she just did in order to bring that down and send some trash over. Um, definitely trying to get under under one side of the board. Um, but both of them are spired in this column one. Yeah, that's true. Although Noizel does have a, a really uh, nice opportunity to maybe sam uh, do sandwich it out and clear that column away. Um, we'll see if uh, she's able to do that. It's very high up and she doesn't really have a platform anymore to do so. Although maybe oh, she'll really... go for the yellow. Yeah. <laughs> maybe do a little T action. Oh, oh she's got a double yellow. And the garbage is going to let her do it. I love it. <laughs> oh, and look at that job clear. I didn't even see that. Following it up with a uh, a triple going back. That's 
Jeez. Don't you love it when you're watching the game and then they do your combo? Ugh. Yes! They it do feels the so one good. That you want. Yeah, you see it and you're like, please, and then they do it and you're like, yes! Love it. You see, do you see this T set up here? And then what she can do is take in that blue horizontally again. Oh, it decides not to. I, I'm i surprised, but again, like, they see this game in a different uh, way than we trying to commentate do. Um, wow, beautiful. Yep, she's going to finally take that horizontal setup on the left side, and, and now suddenly the board's looking very even for no whistle. She's a little behind in virus count, though, and... Snipe is by no means in a dangerous situation. In fact, he's gonna get uh, a quad to match Noizel. Oh no, just a triple, sorry. Um, uh, Noizel actually sending a lot of more garbage on Snipe's uh, side of the board, in fact. But uh, he's looking quite clear, save for column one. Uh, pretty much everything else is not too far away from being uh, taken oh, out. Oh, wow! An amazing setup from Snipe, just finding ways to to just shove combos into his endgame plays. Oh, but Noizel looks ready to stun lock here. We'll see if she can keep this up. She likes to take a bigger combo. I don't know if, uh, I feel like maybe it would have been to her advantage to keep the stun lock going, but, um, she is gonna let it go and take a little damage here. Snipe definitely now getting covered in, um, you know, a sure thing that he thought he could get that blue horizontally um, eventually, and now that's being covered by all of Noenzo's combos. Oh, yep, yeah, and this, this is just an absolutely brutal stun lock here. Ah, uh, that double yellow, I feel like she wanted to maybe get that around and get a combo again. Looks like she's just gonna take this all from underneath now. Oh, I don't know. I don't know if that's that might be an issue. This this gar this cluster now that's been created in the center of the board because of that misdrop might might prove to be an issue. Yeah, but uh, on on Snipe's side, he had to basically disassemble all of the setups he had. Um, the the three reds that were gonna drop down uh, in clear in column seven, and the horizontal blue, which he's building back up now. But he's having to basically recreate everything he was trying to get to before and, and it's giving a her huge time quad. Yeah. a huge quad and continuing to cover though that that blue um wondering how no is was going to dig down and get that and snipe is now just to to uh two last remaining viruses here Continuing with the combos, who's gonna take this one, love? I don't know. I think this bottom blue virus is gonna end up being the the most important uh, piece here for both players. Although Snipe is much closer now to getting it unburied. Although this yellow garbage is gonna help Noizel's mm. chances if she can keep this going, this momentum, she might be able to get to her final virus in the bottom right corner. I don't know if she's gonna be able to do it, but she has a pretty good chance here. Oh my gosh. So no, I don't know if she oh, meant shit. to do that. But Snipe, on the other hand, did... Oh, boy. Oh, gosh. It's finding clears, but they're not converting into combos, and now oh, they're goodness, both though. one virus away, and Snipe is pretty clear. Sleep. He just needs one more blue. Oh, and that's wow. going to be it. Well, that's not going to be it. It'll be it for that crown. He's now 2-1, to one and he's on tournament point as we go into the game four. Oh my goodness! That was a nail biter. I didn't know which way it was gonna go, but I saw. It. Oh man! Let's let's have another one of those, please. <laughs> no, uh, no, it's actually opting for a little bit more of a horizontal play than Snipe is. Um, which the pills that were being provided did allow for Snipe to just kind of go vertically with with his clears um and maybe that was oh i don't, I don't think no one's wanted to play that no i don't think so either unfortunately we're seeing a couple of misplays here 
from Noizel. I'm hoping that uh, she can. She's not just, you know, running out of gas here. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, she has some left in the tank to, to finish the job. I really want to see a game five out of her. But yeah, uh, again, just Snipes' um, more vertical style in this matchup and in this uh, crown is actually doing him a lot of service, so. Getting the double reds. Right when you need them. Yeah, you know the double reds I'm talking about. We've all seen, we've all had those double reds. <laughs> but she will make uh, empty combos out of them, which is just gonna send basically free garbage over to uh, to Snipe's side. Mm, I'd the have more to... simple and quick that you can play these uh, combos, the the better you can just destroy your opponent, and that's what Snipe is showing us right now. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Uh, I would have to give him a slight edge here just because of uh, column 7 and 8 on the Whistle side, but otherwise this is still very close. Mm -hmm. Looks like she might try- yep, she's gonna take this double blue horse or make the horizontal. Um, and yeah, I think that actually gives her a lot more room to breathe and maneuver on the center here. Like, there's a lot of yellow on both the boards, and um, I'm just trying to see how they're going to set this up to take some of that out. A okay, little so bit of hesitation on uh, on Noizel's side, but no. But she's building up for something really big oh, here. Wow! <laughs> I believe it was a five piece, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> a little redundant, but uh, very yeah, cool. Yeah, she's up for so much. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm sure that made Betty jealous. Yeah, why didn't I get to see that? <laughs> I think you did. I think I saw you do that in your game, and I went, Betty. Come on. I know. I, I probably did. <laughs> They're always fun, especially, again, to everybody who's watching out there in Love's uh, channel, you guys make this fun as well, because otherwise it would just be me watching people play, but the fact that you guys are hanging out and, and seeing the plays as we're seeing them, it feels good. <laughs> oh, absolutely. I love it. But yeah, Snipe, again, just has such a clean board. And for such a clean board, where you don't have a lot of, um, you know, extra trash, he's still somehow making combos with each and every play he decides to take. Oh yeah, oh, wow. Delays the combo to get a triple instead of a double here. Even in his end game, even given the states of the board, he just does not stop. Oh man. Although, Noizel finally starting to do a little damage here, mounting a stun lock. Oh my god, that's a quad as well. Uh, and, uh, you know, never say die. Like, the, No Whistle is starting to get to the bottom of the center of her board and uh, approach her own endgame. It didn't really hurt Snipe, though. A lot of it was just a simple clears setups that that he can now take because of that, that trash from No Whistle. So... I mean, oh, it's... helping her hurting. <laughs> yeah, she's not out of the woods yet, but it's definitely at least giving her some time uh, that she sorely needs to catch up here. But uh, yeah, we're only one virus away for Snipe, and he is so close, he can taste it. Oh, wow. And that oh, yellow-red is... is gonna do it, and that is game. Set, match, tournament for Snipe. Wow. Betty, that was that was uh, quite a quite a run from Snipe uh, to come back it and was. take that. Wow, I'm my heart goes out to Noizel because I know she really wanted that. Uh, but uh, just Snipe once again, just showing that uh, he's he's one of the best right now. I think uh, it's undeniable at this point. He's just taking tournament after tournament. Uh, I I I would like for someone to stop him, but it just doesn't seem possible. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, Betty, thank you so much for commentating with me. 
uh, at least just for the grand finals. Uh, I wish we could have uh, maybe had more commentary throughout the tournament, just with anyone, honestly. But um, thank you for uh, coming in and giving some people, giving the people something to enjoy in the grand finals. Oh, absolutely. Well, and thank you for always putting this on. We we you put on a great show, <laughs> and everybody uh, does with their level of play. And keep on playing, guys. I can't wait to see you guys more in Fightcade. Absolutely.